I'm Claire Skelton and I'm going to show you today how to make the Budvig diet. I've been running Flax Farm for nearly 20 years and I found out about the Budvig diet when my customers were telling me how good it was that it helped them get over various diseases and conditions and also helped them to cope with a lot of the very aggressive treatments that they get in conventional medicine. And I'm going to show you today how to make the Budvig diet so it really works and also so that it tastes nice, which is really important because it's something you have to eat day in and day out. But we can do it with lots of variation and you'll enjoy it. So the cornerstone of the Budvig diet is cold-pressed linseed oil, which is also called flaxseed oil, which is a more American term. And... Linseed oil should taste nice like this one does. This is Flax Farm, which we produce. It's made from the best quality linseeds. It's freshly cold pressed. It comes with a very short shelf life, so you can enjoy it at its very best. And linseed oil is very rich in omega-3. It's nature's richest source of omega-3. It's nearly 60% omega-3, and that is the magic ingredient. Joanna Budvig, who created the Budvig diet in the 1950s, who was one of the top food scientists in Germany, fats and food scientists in Germany, said, where there is linseed oil, there will be miracles. And that coming from a scientist says how amazing this stuff is. Anyway, this is the, this is the starting point, and we have to incorporate that into a way that you can eat it. So the Budvig diet starts with the Budvig muesli. And you have that for breakfast every single day. And the Linseed oil is actually combined with, traditionally it's quark cottage cheese, which is a German soft cheese. It's very similar to fromage frais, but this is made with skimmed milk, so it's a fat-free one traditionally. Although she didn't state specifically that it had to be fat-free, it is normally reckoned that fat-free is important because she wants people to avoid excess fats because the fat that's meant to work in your diet is the linseed oil, which is omega-3. So this is a fat-free one from Waitrose and it needs to be about 10 to 12 percent protein. The protein is important because you need the amino acids, the sulfur-based amino acids that you only get in dairy. Don't go looking for anything like um, coconut yogurt or soya yogurt. They have not got the right amino acids. They're not going to do the job. If you are allergic to dairy, most people actually find they tolerate it a lot better if it's in this diet. So people who thought they couldn't tolerate it, when it's combined with all these ingredients, can. So you can either have quark. Another way to get your sufficient protein is this, which is a skimmed milk, 0% fat Greek yogurt, and it's readily available. This is the one that I like using, because this is an organic one, and a lot of people are looking for an organic way of following this diet, and it's Yeo Valley kerned yoghurt and it tastes great. This which is skier which is a new thing, a new, new, new yoghurt on the block really, um, is really cheap and it tastes great and that's another one of the ones that I use quite regularly. So to get going we start off with 100 grams of your chosen 10 to 12 percent dairy product. Which is about six tablespoons. But that's level tablespoons, not these big heat things that I'm doing now. There we are, that's 112, that's fine. So now you add 45 grams of cold pressed linseed oil to your quark. And it doesn't have to be exact, 44 grams is fine. And to mix it, you can either use a fork, or you can use one of them, in which case you ought to put it into a bowl, or we can use these hand blenders. 
stick blenders, whatever you like to call it. Some work better than others. This one I find that I have to use it on its side to make it work. Um, and, but you can get a good result with a fork. Now, if it doesn't go in thorough as easily, you can actually add milk. If it's not going in easily and it's too thick for your blender, you can either use skimmed milk or something like carrot juice or even beetroot juice, but it needs to be a good quality crock of juice, not just ordinary cheap supermarket juices. fairly well mixed and we now need to get it out of there and start assembling and now we need to start assembling the actual good big moosey which we've got some apple here to do it with and we've got ground linseed and we've got berries so starting off with ground linseed which is that's ground it's quite fine it's like ground almonds you can use the whole seeds that you've ground yourself, or you can use our freshly ground linseed. A lot of people who are following the Budvig Dart are very keen to grind their own freshly every time they use it because they're worried that it might go off. However, Joanna Budvig herself actually produced a ground linseed cereal which was mixed with a little bit of milk and milk powder and honey, and it was called Linamel, and that was what she recommended that you use. So don't worry too much about having to do it freshly every time. Even Joanna Woodvig herself didn't stick to that one. So start with this. It's about two, ta two heat tablespoons of ground linseed, which gives you about 20-25 grams of ground linseed. So that goes into your bowl. And then you put that out there. So we don't need to... Now you can sweeten this. Um, I usually prefer to add in a sweetener either to the cream itself, this creamed linseed oil and quark itself. Um, or you can add honey in later. My preference is to add some honey in later because I think it tastes so lovely. So you also add some fruit it can be any fruit i've used ordinary eating apples that have been grated with a little bit of lemon juice in it and because i put the lemon in it i'm going to add a little bit of sweetener the only sweeteners you can use on this diet are either stevia or honey don't use things like uh, agave syrup or coconut sugar or any of those they are sugars that are not actually permitted on the diet and they're actually very bad for you on the diet too A few drops of stevia works very well and it will help compensate for the bitterness of the lemon. And by all means add a little bit more juice if you want to to it. To make it a little bit moister at all you can add a little bit of juice just to make the whole thing work but you don't have to. So today we'll stir it up at the end, but it does make a bit of a mess. Then you put berries on the top of that. Uh, 
I use frozen berries because they're available all the year round and they're actually better quality usually than the ones that are fresh in the supermarkets. And they're readily available and you don't need to worry about moving out. Now we have chopped nuts. Which you add a little bit of chopped nuts to the top. The nuts are in there for vitamin E and minerals and things like that. And my preference as a said was to put the honey in at the end because I love the taste of it and you just get a little bit more flavour from the honey when it's drizzled over the top. It's a nice teaspoon of honey. Okay. And that is the Woodvig breakfast ready to go. It's a lovely healthy breakfast and I can also, sh will also show you on other videos how to actually get that ready to make a meal as a trifle for desserts for people. This is the Budvig muesli. You start every day on the Budvig dart with this muesli. You have a second helping of this magic cream of linseed oil and quark or yoghurt and that is eaten for lunch which you either have with a salad as a mayonnaise or you have it for a second meal like this, but you can vary the fruits and have it as a dessert. Now to make the ring the changes, you might want to vary this, and there are ways to make it different. You could use different fruits. Pineapple is lovely. Um, orange makes a good one. Grapefruit is lovely. Sometimes I just use lemon as well. You can even cook up some beets. You can either get to do that or cook up some rhubarb is another good one. And then you can add spices to it, such as ground cinnamon, fresh ginger, vanilla, or treat yourself to a nice chocolate version where you can actually wind the chocolate into the cream after you've mixed it very thoroughly and then add maybe some chopped pears or some cooked pears even and top that with some blueberries. That's the perfect done.